Hello Collective, welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are greatly appreciated. I will let you all know why I'm laughing, but you are greatly appreciated for watching, supporting, doing whatever it is you do on this platform. Whether you are a karmic or a soul tribe member, you are appreciated for the assistance in growing this platform, okay? Okay, I return to source, I return to sender. Uh, all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light around the collective and myself. Okay. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against us are being returned to them. Or we can take those energies and transmute them into something beautiful for ourselves. Okay. Yes, to that. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. Okay, so why am I laughing? When I was recording that video, the previous video I placed on this channel, I uploaded on my channel. Someone went in and cut the video off while I was recording it because they didn't want the truth out. So, it cut off as someone caused you or took some type of relationship from you that you were meant to be in and they're going through some type of karma. So, someone took, someone blocked some type of relationship someone was supposed to be in. And the karma for that was that that person lost a relationship behind the scenes as well. So someone went through some type of uh, divorce for interfering with a twin flame connection. Or someone went through some type of breakup for interfering with a twin flame connection. So that's karma. I guess someone does not want to hear that. Okay. Let's go ahead and get into this tarot reading and see. Oh, excuse me for my rudeness. Judgment is final. Look at me not having manners excuse me folks i promise i am very respectful okay so we're starting with the knight of cups you may have someone that wants to come in lord the car is jumping out at me it has a lot to say oh oh someone don't fell from grace and lost their finances and their abundance out here so they want to now come in and give you some type of false offer of friendship because they think this is going to bring balance into their situation. Someone has lost quite a lot behind the scenes. And this is because of them fooling around with you, messing with you. There's something where on the, on my, in my videos on this platform, I've been talking about how people are taking actions behind the scenes to destroy someone's livelihood, someone's income, someone's business, someone's work. They've been taking action to destroy it, and it looks like that energy is being reciprocated to them. People are losing a lot behind the scenes, I'm telling you. People are losing a lot, right? And something does not make sense to them. It's never happened before. They, they've done this before, but there were no repercussions, and that's how it always works in life. You will do something to thousands of people or hundreds of people, but there will be that one, <laughs> that one that you come across and you do something to them. And the most high is that, oh, you don't effed up royally now. I've got to get you. You got to do time. The whole time. The most high put that person in your energy, just testing you. And you were going for it to push that button. And the most high said, done, do it. Done, do it. Sweetie, done, do it. And then went for it. So someone's losing their resources. Someone's not able to be a privileged lady anymore. They're not able to go out and just spend lavishly on wherever they want. They can't go on a shopping spree anymore. If they were taking advantage of a masculine, they're not able to do that anymore. So, so I'm telling you. Mm. Oh, I'll tell you a joke, but I won't tell you a lie, folks. Don't hit me. I'm just a messenger. It's just poor little old me doing my work. Okay? I have been ordained by the Most High to carry this work out. I did something similar in my past lifetime, and I'm just continuing the obligations, okay? So, as I said, it's karma. You know this Ten of Cups? This Ten of Swords, excuse me, on my platform, this is karma. This is someone giving a taste of their own medicine. This is someone following the wrong party, making the wrong decisions. Someone may have had an opportunity to work with you. But they saw you, they said, well, they look well put together, but I don't know if they're a business partner. Someone went in and fooled them, deceived them, made them think they were a better option. And you were in front of this person the whole time being straightforward with them. They thought maybe you were a little bit rude because you were straightforward, Queen of Swords, possibly. 
So, you know, they gave their offer to someone else. But while giving that offer to someone else, they didn't know that it was an orchestrated plan by that person and other people around them. So they were deceived. So someone is going through some type of fall, some type of disappointment. And this is something that could have been prevented, but they'll overcome it. They'll get over it. This was a learning experience. Okay. Yeah, they'll get over it. There's some type of uh, prosperity ahead of you. Collective, you manifested some type of new reality for yourself. You may be receiving some type of promotion. And these people are living in fear and anxiety. But their promotion, their elevation in life, it is absolutely secure. And this is actions people took against you. But even though they tried to knock you down, some of you, they may have knocked you down. And it was permitted by the most high for them to do that. Because there was a lesson for you to learn. You needed to elevate. You needed, needed to ascend through those betrayals, those trials and tribulations, those setbacks, they help you elevate and learn and grow. And you came out victorious. So at the end of the day, you got to have to see it. Your enemies help you. They help you elevate. There's something I say in a video where I say a group of people don't realize they've helped push someone into their victory, the next level of life push them into their elevation and this is what's going on they are going through some type of uh setback all of them not just one person they're going through some type of setback stuck right finances are looking bleak and that's the god's honest truth the people behind the scenes that interfere with your forward movement they're going through it and every time they do something or take something from all of you, they're losing something behind the scenes. Some of finances has been depleted because they partner up with the wrong people. They didn't realize people were gaslighting them, taking advantage of them, setting them up to lose everything. And someone lost a lot in this collaboration. And I don't particularly think he was collaborating or she was collaborating with them to take you down. But they had it set up where it made it look like he was part of it, but he wasn't. He may have invested into some type of business with these people or someone and it looked like it didn't go accordingly. So someone is going through some type of, yeah, disappointment. Honey, the car is wanting to come out, so we are going to put it out. We are going to put it out. Yeah, someone is struggling right now. And someone may not even want their finding. I, I keep feeling some type of like animosity. Like someone does not want their finances being talked about because it's a sensitive topic. But this is a lesson this person needed to learn. Like someone's stability is like just, it's non-existent. It's non-existent, but they're going to have to find their strength to get back up and try again. Okay? This is what someone was supposed to build with you. This is what they were going to build with you. But you have maybe a Jizzy Bell, a Karmic, a Warlock. Someone came into his energy and deceived him. So he invested into the wrong energy. They gaslighted this man. They, they played with him. And I keep saying man him, so he must be a man. I'm not saying it intentionally. It's just coming out. They played with him. Someone was supposed to build a whole empire with you. And they went and partnered up with the wrong people. We need to end up here. Okay, we need to end up here. Now they are finding out that whoever they partner up with is nothing like she presented herself to be. Someone acted like she was a, she was a woman of high honor, classy, bougie, sophisticated. Ain't nothing sophisticated about this woman. He's finding that out. Someone is just vain. They just like the better. They like the finer things in life, but they don't want to have to work for it. Someone partnered up with an institution or a group of people that that commit fraud regularly. So he may have taken this personally. They cost him a lot of money. And this is something they do professionally, being thieves. And they do it so well, you don't even know. This is the, one of those types of company you come there and you don't realize everybody, they have a whole operation going on. And they're trying to figure out a way in how to get into your life, into your energy and things like that. How to get in your personal space so they can find out information about you. When you leave late at night, they go into your office to find out if you left your social security number there. If you left your checkbook there by accident so they can get the information. Try to get into your account and take money so they can live free. I mean, they can live happily. They say yes. We finally got some money.
Oh, honey, you should see these scammers behind the scenes. This is a whole orchestration. I'm telling you, this is a cult like mentality. It's a plan. It's a, a, a operation, not a plan. It's an operation. And they're planning. They see you. You come into their communities, their businesses. You look like you are someone of high honor. If you look like you have, you're someone that has money, you're well put together. They say, oh, new victim, fresh meat. You, they have fresh meat, right? And so the operation begins. They send in a juicy bell that looks fairly good to look at. Body may be snatched in all the right places. And they know how to spit that game. They play you like a tuba. God forbid you get into some type of actual relationship with them. They've been doing, someone has a lot of miles on their body. So they know how to put it down on you. And you're there having a whole secret affair with this person at work. And you don't realize they're playing you the whole time. There's a lesson for you to learn. And maybe someone's ancestor is interfering on their behalf. That's how it is. Yeah, he didn't know. This, imp this is an emperor? Oh. Let me, let me adjust myself, folks. This is an emperor? Is this an emperor being taught a lesson? Oh, my brother. Now, what did Safa you, Chai? Oh. Oh, God, what did this Safa you, you go? Oh, look at this. Look at that. Look at this. Look at that. Look at this. Oh, brother. Dang. I go cry for you, but yeah, it's not my sorrows. I have my own sorrows to cry about. Chai. Anyways, this man is going through some type of loss now. He's lost quite a lot of money for investing into these people's shenanigans. What I'm getting also is that they presented this man with some type of false business. It was never legit. The business did, did not succeed because they were, it was never meant to succeed. These people are not business savvy. They're just greedy. So someone took money and invested it into a group of people or someone that he partnered up with in this company and it led to a lot of loss for him, unfortunately. But there was a lesson for this man to learn. This is a guy putting like a star sea or uh, empress into your energy that's business savvy, knows what they're talking about, but you look at them and you judge them because maybe they look young, maybe you think they're naive, maybe they're, they're not the right gender. They're the wrong age or something like that, wrong complexion, whatever it was with him, wrong background. Only for you to find out, yeah, that was your hope. That was your last leg. That was your opportunity to get into that Ten of Pentacles energy you've always wanted to be in. Because there's a masculine in here that has always wanted to be successful. And he worked pretty hard to get to where he was. This man was headed to victory if he would have partnered up with you. But something told him no because there was interference by someone. Someone came in and told him, oh, no, you know, you should partner up with us. She don't know what she's doing. She's an airhead. She's clueless. She's mentally unstable. Something like that. They told him something about you that was not true. And he didn't know they all were in on it. And they deceived him. They caused him a lot of loss. A whole lot of loss. Now he's having to figure out what his next moves are. How things are going to go. You know, how can he keep his life from falling apart all the way? Honey, it's just too much this masculine is going, to, going through. We want to feel sorry for him. But this is a lesson that needed to be learned. We've all had to go through things like this. Where we had to learn something the hard way. And I'm saying we because I've had to go through similar things. Not with my finances because I'm not just, you know. Mm -mm, no, honey. I, I, I see you. I, I study people, honey. I, I study people. If there's one thing I do is study people. And I don't got to be around you. Thank, thank goodness, thank the ancestors. I don't got to be around you to study you. I can meet you once, leave, and go and sit down and do my analysis. That's not a partner. Someone is going through a loss because he failed and refused to self-actualize. You and someone started off with a friendship. You started off with a friendship. And that friendship was supposed to go into something else, progress into something else as far as business. I don't know about the romantic side. If it was supposed to be romantic, I'm sure it'll show up later on. But you and someone was supposed to partner up. It started off as a friendship. Someone knew that he had the feeling. Someone didn't know you, but he had some type of inkling 
she feel she feel she seems very familiar or he seems very familiar and he started you know building some type of rapport with you he thought very highly of you and the people around you possibly got really jealous they said oh we got to interfere with this we've had a whole program on um, operation going on here for years we steal from people we don't got time for her sincerity and her genuine if he gets close to her, she's going to wake, wake him up and it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard to deceive him. So they did something to interfere with you two's connection. They said, nah, uh-uh, 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 we got to get rid of her. So you something happened where you were removed out of the situation or some of you left the situation and this masculine was left by himself. He thought he was surrounded by friends, by genuine people, people that care about one another. They made you seem like the problem. This is how dark workers operate. Oh, they know how to spin a tail to go in their favor. They made you seem like the problem. And before you know it, this masculine started keeping his distance from you, right? Being disrespectful towards you, cutting you off when you will be talking to him acted like he didn't care what you were talking about this could be maybe your ex-boyfriend or something honey i don't know but he started acting funny distancing himself anything you say he questioned it act like you're lying or you don't know what you're talking about right source said okay so he had started and then let him go go about you may have said certain things to this kind of person to warn them say be careful some of these people are not who they put themselves out to be. This is a whole facade. They're going to steal from you. You're going to lose a lot of money if you partner with, up with these people. Do not get in a relationship with any of these women at this place, this church, this school, this building, this business, whatever this is. That brother didn't listen. He didn't listen. He did not listen. He went and got real comfortable real comfortable probably started showing up to work just a free as can be leaving bags at work notebooks at work credit cards at work all kinds of stuff not knowing he was giving the enemy the right opportunity the right information the right items to get into his life he may have started some type of affair with someone at work and it ain't going pretty she cost him a big penny right here a big penny so there's something he needs to balance in his life and it's his finances his finances are shaky shaky they are shaky shaky don't worry sir yours is not as shaky shaky as mine so you'll be okay <laughs> yours are not as shaky shaky as mine so you'll be okay but someone had a lesson to learn i'm telling you they had a lesson to learn. They had the truth uh, in front of them the whole time, but they didn't pay attention. Okay? They didn't pay attention. Someone gave their offer to the wrong party. They partner up with the wrong person. So someone may want to communicate with you to kind of let you know what's going on. They've lost a lot or they're going through some type of hardship, something like that. And it's, you don't have any anger or spitefulness towards this person. It's a lesson they had to learn. Some of you, when you were leaving these environments, these communities, you looked and you said, oh, poor boy, poor girl. You're going to have to learn this lesson the hard way. Your friends and families, friends and families, they're about to teach you a lesson you, you'll never forget. Okay? So there was a lesson here for someone to learn and they're learning it or they learned it now he will recover but it's going to take a while for this person to recover their finances because someone went all in on something they knew nothing about and he went through some type of horrendous betrayal and now he's having to kind of cut his loss and move on with his life he's trying really hard to bring balance back into his life this is supposed to be someone someone wealthy and maybe he was wealthy before this whole situation started, but now there's some type of, there's something, excuse me, there's some type of aspect of his life that's out of balance. Out of balance. Okay? But it'll come together. Okay? It'll come together. Mm, it'll come together. He may want to now take action to come towards you, maybe communicate with you. I don't know what you two are going to communicate about. 
Some of you have been seeing these people in I don't know how long. You don't talk to them, talk about them, think about them, nothing. Mention them, you don't know them as far as you're concerned. So I don't know what you two are going to talk about, but it has to be something that's a divine intervention for you two to meet or something like that so that you can have some type of closure. There's something that maybe he doesn't see, you don't see. Some of you may be receiving some type of promotion in work, at work, in life, but you don't see this coming. It's a secret. But you know, your life is balancing out. Source is taking care of you. Maybe you just don't see it, but balance is, in, is being brought into your situation. This masculine too. Yeah, honey. He wants to come in and speak to you. He wants to speak to you. So someone maybe, yeah, he wants to speak to you. Give to you. Heal things with you. Recover things with you. Whatever it is, honey. I don't know. I don't know. Someone definitely wants to have closure with you, though. Okay, and they could be watching you online. Mm, honey, this is how this is how it goes. Sometimes there are things we have to learn the hard way. You can have an uh, empress in front of you telling you, uh, you know, you, you see them and you know they are an empress, beautiful, well put together, poised, well mannered. They're not out here showing skin to the whole world. Being loose and reckless with the mouth, they actually have character. And you'll see them and you will know. But the problem is that sometimes people see empresses and because they're quiet, they may appear to be a little bit younger than what you expect them to be. You'll overlook them. So then when a Jizzy Bell come in with the rest of her karmic friends and, you know, they're mature looking, you know, the years actually show, they actually look like what they are. You said, oh, I'm going to go with that one. They look a little bit more mature. Only for you to find out, oh, no, brother, you don't act up royally. You're done act up royally. Okay? Like my people say, you don't fuck up. I don't speak French very often, but, honey, that's what we're telling you, sir. You don't fuck up. Don't be vexed. Don't vex. Don't vex. Don't vex. Don't vex. Don't vex. Don't vex, my brother. Don't vex. Okay? Here you go. I'm telling you, cut your loss. This is possibly what he's doing. He's cutting his loss, manifesting a new reality. Okay? And whoever it is that, whoever you are collective, you're doing the same thing. That's what you've been doing since you left these people's environment or since you were separated from these people. Most of you are focusing on your pentacles, moving on with your life. You say, you know what? And they can have that situation right there. Some of you, it's very weird. When you interact with your soul twin and they disappoint you, you can feel that sucker on a soul level. You say, gosh, darn it. I don't want to feel this sucker, but we're the same. So I got to feel this nonsense. And when these people, your soul twins, when they're hurting behind the scenes, even if you don't know what's going on, you can feel that stuff. That's why sometimes all of a sudden you'll just start feeling uneasy, start worrying, start hurting. That's because your soul twin is going through something behind the scenes and you're just worried and you don't know what you're worried about. You're like, my life is okay. I don't have anything to worry about. Why am I worried? Why do I feel uneasy? That's because your soul twin is on some type of jam. That's what that is sometimes. And sometimes you have a karmic that's trying you and sending you energy. Just say return to sender. Return to sender. You have the authority to do that. Always. You know, when you, when you return to sender, that's what those karmics go to go do their ritual, their cleansing rituals. They say, oh, cover me. I don't want it to find me, girl. <laughs> Sir, nothing is covering you. That energy is directly coming back to you. No curves, no nothing. No left turn, no right turn, no nothing turn. It's coming directly at you, okay? And if you try to hide, it goes up and comes right down the target. It's like, I see you. You see me? I see you. You see me? Boop, right on your head. Woo! I'm animated, aren't I? <laughs> oh. Whoever this masculine is, he's very business savvy. Someone's very, like someone is more so intellectual. Like they're very smart, IQ wise. Emotionally, 
there's something like someone does not operate from their heart space you operate from your heart space collective as an empress you operate from your heart space so this is going to balance the both of you out it's not that you're not intelligent you're very intelligent if you're showing up here as an empress energy you're very intelligent but what you are the predominantly is emotionally intelligent emotional intelligence is not something you can just learn like that and some people have it naturally which is what empresses do so this masculine is not emotionally intelligent, but he's very business savvy mentally. And you two are going to come together and you are going to open this person's eyes in ways or his heart in ways that he's never been able to see things, right? And this is what he missed out on. You two, I'm telling you, he missed out on fulfillment, being content. Because what he was when you met him he had everything in life financially. Someone was secure financially, but they didn't have, they did not have true love, genuine love, genuine compassion. And you were placed in this person's energy to give them that. So for some of you, it was going to be something that starts off as a friendship and then turn into work and then something into romance. But he was misled. He was deceived. He felt he got off his, his trail. Okay, yeah, this was you. You were supposed to heal this person in some way because someone went through some type of betrayal. Someone went through some type of betrayal when it comes to the heart thing, heart heart matters. I don't know if maybe the his ex partner cheated or something. I don't know what it is. Maybe they cheated on him or something, right? So you were going to bring balance into this person's life. You were their karma, like good karma, because someone. Is coming up as someone that invested, invests a lot into other people. Like he, he tries to help people. So he gives a lot in a way. Okay. Like this is someone that will encourage you to be the best you. Like he gives in that way. And he may also be someone that gives a little too easily. Like as far as helping people out. Something like that. Someone, I don't know. Even though they're very intelligent mentally they can they're easy to be led astray and this is something they struggled with their whole life like they don't have a mind of their own when it comes to like sentimental things like emotional things i don't know and then i'm hearing like he may have asked someone for advice but they led him astray like either you were around someone and he thought that person knew you but they didn't know you so when he asked them for advice they lied to him which led to a separation between the two of you because then now there was a third party interfering with your connection something like that Whew. that's a whole lot i'm telling you there's a third party and she's not happy because balance is being brought into this situation she's not happy somewhere somehow Either the balance is that he's no longer going to be working with them. He's moving on. Or it could be that you two are going to be coming together. I don't know what it is. For some of you, Source is sending you a new partner. But you, you have a whole new partner to work with. And this masculine is going to have to cut his loss, figure out how to kind of move on with his life, whatever this is. But he does still want to work with you. Okay? Man. Can you imagine that? praying for something and the whole time it's right in front of you and someone snatched you out of your hand based off of a lie only for you to find out oh you know what you mean i already had my dreams with that person oh shoot you get so angry at the person that misled you someone was manifesting a new beginning and they should have went in within them this is why i always preach and advocate self-actualization on my platforms it's best for you to make a decision and be wrong about it because you made that decision instead of someone else making the decisions for you as in they tell you their opinion and you act based off of that opinion follow your own intuition follow your own intelligence people will always have ulterior motives for why they are telling you to do something or not to do something 98%, 2%. Other people's opinion in your life is only worth two cents. Your opinion is worth 98%. Do the math. 
Look at the ratio. You remember when we had to learn about ratios in uh, high school and none of us liked doing it? That sucker used to piss us off. Look, I don't want to learn about ratios. Yeah, I'm telling you. These people are, are going through some type of ending because this man has gone. This is something he should have done a whole long time ago. A long time ago. Something is overdue. That someone has been in a situation longer than they were supposed to be. And now he is finally going within to see the truth about this group. Now he knows the truth about what's going on and it's causing a tower. It's causing a tower because now the truth is revealed. They can't hide it anymore. He's finding out that it was all planned. How everything happened. Do you know how pissed off you get? You've been around a group of people the whole time thinking it was genuine. And something, the truth is spoken. And you start playing everything over in your mind to see what the heck has been going on the whole time. You mean every time they came to my house, it was set up? You mean every time they called me, it was set up? You mean every time they came into my office, it was set up? Every time they were asking me for money, inviting me to this place, it was a whole set up. Yes, they were trying to dismantle your guard, break your guard down, your walls down. Okay? That's what it was. That is what it was. This is a message for someone. Yeah, he, he's heartbroken. Someone may be even feeling a little disappointed. Not even a little. They're, they are heavily disappointed in themselves or how they treated you. Like they may have betrayed you or something like that. Someone may have told this masculine that you betrayed him and he's finding out you never did anything to him. You actually looked out for this person. But he was the one who betrayed you. So he knows the truth. Maybe watching you, may want to communicate with you, doesn't know how to communicate with you. Communications are being interfered with, or maybe you have someone blocked for some of you. So they want to communicate with you, they don't have a way to. But someone is embarrassed for how they treated you. You were genuine with this person, and they turned their back on you. For a false person, a false group. And you have foresight of this situation the whole time. I'm telling you, like, you saw into the future and you saw how it was going to play out. You tried to warn this person in subtle ways and they didn't listen. They thought you were the drama queen. They said, here, I am telling you. They thought you were the drama queen. They thought you were trying to deceive them. Have them going through endings, block them or something. But now they're going through this because of the people they partner up with. Okay, and now I don't know if he was a. Uh, there, there goes our twin, twin cup, the twin flame card. So you know, someone for some of you, this could be a love matter. There, there's someone this man partner up with that loves to shop. That's all she cares to do is shop. So maybe he's been splurging her with gifts and things like that, not realizing he's been splurging his destiny blocker. Can you imagine, Charlie? Chai. See you, see your life. Can you imagine taking money out of your pocket to give to your destiny blocker? Shy. Mm, 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 mm. Disappointment, disappointment, disappointment. Someone is heartbroken. This heart, this three of swords keeps showing up a lot. Someone is heartbroken. Someone is heartbroken. And they're gonna have to cut their laws and move on. There goes our twin, our two of cups again, twin flame card. So this could be someone you had some type of contract with, business and romance. Yeah, you two had a contract. This was gonna be your emperor. You two are gonna to come together, manifest some type of new reality with each other, make a difference in the world. I'm telling you. So you may be getting a new higher level soulmate that's going to do this with you. That's why I say the universe always has it set up where if one twin does not work, higher level soulmate does not work, they have another one lined up for you up ahead. You just need to get there. And by getting there, I don't mean going out and looking for a man. I mean working on yourself, focusing on your life, ascending. And at the right time, you two will connect. The moment you get out of your life, your house, your car to go look for a man, you need help. You, you need help. So focus on your dreams. 
healing yourself, recovering, things like that. Before you go looking for a man. Do not go looking for a man. Do not go looking for nothing. It'll come to you when it's supposed to. Just put in your effort. You like, Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. This is what you two were supposed to have. Don't chase, don't go chasing stuff in life. Don't go chasing people. Don't go chasing, honey. And by that, I mean, don't do anything out of desperation. If you're rejected, walk away. Do not chase nothing. Don't chase no one. Anything that you have to go and fight all the time, it's not worth it. The only thing you should be chasing after are your dreams. Okay? Your dreams. If someone want to come in and give you an offer and you're looking at them like, mm, I don't know about this. Yeah, he, he got himself trapped in something very toxic. This whole group here, their group, piece of work. This is something they do regularly. They've done this before to other people. I, I remember I did a reading, I think a few readings ago where I said there's a company where they keep their employees information or they take it and try to get to steal from them this is something they do regularly and this is something they were doing with this masculine they gather all his information phone number so they can break into his phone email so they can break into the everything you can think of they have it on him probably listening to his phone calls emails everything there they have access to it and he didn't know the whole time so and he's 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 seeing things now from a higher perspective. He's seeing things for what they are now. So maybe at some point he was helping these people take you down, destroy your life, your pathway, and now he's finding out while he was working with them to destroy your life, <laughs> they were doing the same to him. They were doing the same thing to him. And that's karma. That is karma. He's lost a whole lot of resources. His independence, his security, I'm telling you, his independence and security is not where it used to be. It's not where it used to be. Okay, so these people cannot defeat you. You're going to have wish fulfillment. I'm telling you. They cannot. They cannot defeat you. They were not able to. You have foresight of everything and they know. Whatever they were planning, all their karmic actions, it's not happening. It's not going to lead to defeat for you. You may have already defeated these people and you don't even know. Because you have, you're have you getting wish fulfillment. You're going to be fulfilled in life. Dang. Chai. See. Chale. 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 Now what can we go do with these karmics? Well, we what what thing we will do with these karmics? Yeah. You can't. The karmics are like women. You can't live with them. You can't live without them because they're there for entertainment purposes. We need laughter in life. Chai. This kind of operation. Oh, look, I got some cards in the mail today. I'm so excited. Um, I ordered these a, way, a while back. And I'm going to try to use them in my next video. They're Oracle cards. So I'm hoping that they fit in with my style of reading. If they don't. I won't be happy because these suckers work. Girl, what is this paper mess? Uh-uh. What is this? What did be this? What did be this? This is paper. Etsy non pissing off. This is paper. Look, 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 look. And you see it won't even go back. Look at this. You see how it look, 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 snap back? Uh-uh. Essie. 
What did be this? Oh no, no more Etsy for me. Hmm. Madame, what is this mess? What? The cards are beautiful. On the men, be compassionate and kind with yourself as you heal your heart. Getting better. I mean, they're oracle cards, so um, I was expecting them to be a little bit more on the bougie side when it comes to, you know, the feel of it. Because, honey, these suckers weren't cheap. They weren't cheap. What? Hey! Folks, do not open packages with your mouth at home. Viewer discretion is advised, but do as I say now as I do. <laughs> Look at this, Pippa, Pippa. My goodness, I will just combine them together. Chai. Disappointments. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. I was deceived. They're beautiful though. They are very beautiful. I think I'm someone, I like things to be a little bit thicker. Like here, you see this? Now let's try this baby. Uh-uh. And it's starting to bend. Look at this. Hey, look, 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 look. Uh-uh. See me, see my life. I'm trying to upgrade and they're here playing with my money. Listen, listen. Mm -mm. Okay. Since since they're here, let's do a little. Mm, 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 mm. Since they're here, let's go ahead and, and shuffle them and get a read from them. The cards are very beautiful and sunny. Very beautiful. But the quality of the paper, the material. It is not quality in. Mm -mm -mm. But then again, they're Oracle cards. But I would expect Oracle cards for that, for the price I pay, freaking $33 each for each deck to be a little bit more sophisticated when it comes to quality than this. Come on now. Why are you guys playing with our money out here? Miss 19 happened, and then everything prices just went up for everything, and quality just went down the drain. Mm. 66, okay. 12, 3, okay. It says your guardian angel is teaching you the essence of unconditional love. You are encouraged to have faith that the universe will provide you will provide for you while you are manifesting your inner desires. That is the very message we got the last reading. Okay, so that's very essential to someone. Keep your mind on positive thoughts, basically. It says 12, 12, 33, 6, okay? Stay focused on your best possible future and remain optimistic throughout the entire journey. Your angels are right behind you as you turn your dreams into reality. Exactly, I am focused. Stay focused and stay positive. Okay, let's see what this beauty has to say. Okay. Real promise. Release the chains of the past and dance to the rhythm of possibility. You are free to move. Okay, now, I love that. Clarity cards, oracles. Baby. Madame, your cards are beautiful, but the quality, oh. I don't like all. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.